Hi, my name is Dr. Robin Abramzik and I'm a holistic and biological dentist in Heath, Texas. The name of my practice is Smile Ranch Dentistry and I am here with my friend and blog writer, Michael McNeil. Yes. And Michael, will you share with them a little bit of what you're doing right now? Sure. Um, I actually work at a compounding pharmacy um, and uh, alongside blog writing and being a health coach, I'm kind of doing all kinds of things at once, but I've learned quite a bit working at a compound pharmacy. and. At a compounding pharmacy, we always take the natural approach first, yeah. as opposed to straight pharmaceutical approach. So yeah. one thing that I've got to experience is we give vaccinations through the pharmacy. And that's and a hot topic. That a is lot a of people hot topic. are interested and it's very controversial. So share with us a little bit about what goes on behind the scene. Or vaccines, they say they've taken the mercury out of vaccines. Is that true? It's not true. Um, it's more a public relations statement. It's a mm -hmm. PR statement to make us feel comfortable about what they did remove. Um, now, unfortunately, the patient, unless you request it, does not have access to see what is inside the vaccine. Um, there are three different types of vaccines. There's one provided by the state. There's one provided by pharmaceutical companies, and there's actually one that is preservative free, which is totally different than the other two, um, that where they remove the toxic metals to preserve it, and they preserve the live virus inside a sterile liquid. Mm -hmm. So even though you get inoculated into your body, you're not receiving that additional toxicity. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times you see reduced symptoms in patients where normally if you bring in the toxicity with the virus, the virus likes the toxicity. That's why they use it as a preservative. Mm -hmm. um, it's naturally those metals and those viruses mm -hmm. attract each other. Right. Um, they like to be around each other because most of the time parasites, par paras parasites mm -hmm. viruses, fungi, all those things attract toxicity and live in a toxic mm -hmm. environment. And so, you know, as a patient, I would recommend to everyone out there, ask your pharmacist or ask your doctor, can I have the preservative free version? And if they want to recommend a certain one to you, say, can I see what it's preserved mm -hmm. with? And they, legally, they've got to show you. Um, because I want all the parents out there, I want all, you know, I have four children, I want to know exactly what's going into their bodies. And I didn't know this until I started working at the pharmacy. And there's a doctor, her name is Sherry Timpenny, and uh, you can Google She's her, amazing. she's amazing. She gives you all the education on uh, vaccinations, are they good, are they bad? It's a huge topic. Mm -hmm. um, I've seen a lot of good from them, and I've seen a lot of bad from them, um, and I think the number one factor in that is what they're using to preserve that live virus. And then the heavy metals would be namely mercury and aluminum? Yes, mercury and aluminum, they're the most uh, powerful preservatives. Mm -hmm. um, and again, that preservative mindset came from the pharmaceutical companies where they can make a drug or even a, a live virus last years as long as it's cold with that metal. If you have a preservative free one, it doesn't last as long. Mm -hmm. um, when you receive it fresh, you've got to use it pretty quickly and they tend to be more expensive. Mm -hmm. um, but I think it's well worth the investment. In our day, we've been talking about you know getting rid of toxicity and kind of staying away from certain things, mm -hmm. especially if you're going to bring something in the body in an injectable form. Mm -hmm. It is highly absorbable. Um, it's going directly into your bloodstream that we make the investment to get something preservative free mm -hmm. and stay away from because we know the breakdown. I mean, I've seen children go from having great neurological conditions to being completely changed after a round of three vaccines. Yes. And parents are very, very upset. Mm -hmm. um, it is a topic talked about on YouTube. It's all over the mm -hmm. place. And we want to be on the forefront of saying, hey, there are other options out there. Mm -hmm. um, and, and we need to consider those mm -hmm. options um, right. before making just the, the blind decision where you know, you get 10% off your groceries if you go and get a flu shot. Right. But we don't know what that flu shot is preserved with. Exactly. So we want to make sure that parents out there are educated for their children, for themselves and their loved ones um, to make the right choice. That's wonderful. Well, I know a lot of patients in my practice absolutely refuse vaccinating their children and and rightly so I understand mm -hmm. where they're coming from and they also feel like administering a drug would shut down physiology mm -hmm. so those parents are choosing to upregulate nature's ability the own your own intrinsic ability mm -hmm. to fight off infection and disease that's right and so i love that approach and i support it um what what would you 
talk to a, a patient or client about if they decided to go that way. So I really like um, responding in multiple modalities when someone chooses to go that way, and that's different things. So I do homeopathics. Um, there are actually homeopathic vaccines. They're called uh, vaccinosodes. We have them actually in the pharmacy. Um, if a patient would like to go a different approach, they're for each specific type of virus, whether it be the flu or cold and cough, you can get that no sode and take it orally and there's no toxicity. So I like the homeopathic approach. I also like the herbal approach. So you can ramp your body's immune system up with echinacea. You can ramp mm -hmm. up golden seal. You can take you know medicinal mushrooms like reishi, shiitake, yes. maitake. You can do those different things. So your colostrum, your, colostrum, your body's going to modulate and overcome that mm -hmm. virus naturally. And like you said, God created our bodies. We came in contact with these things naturally anyway, and we built antibodies, antigens mm -hmm. in our own blood, in our own body to overcome them. Mm -hmm. So the, the thought is, is that if you get it and you already have those antigens, why would you inject it in yourself initially? Mm -hmm. If you're just going to get it, you can get it and overcome it, right. and your body becomes stronger. So I'm the fan of, of kind of doing it. It's more of an old school way of yes. thinking is that our bodies are innate and that as long as we're feeding it the right mm -hmm. foods, the right you know substances, we're getting rid of stress, we're you know helping ramp up the immune system, we don't have to worry about viruses, and we don't have to inject them into our bodies in order to not get them. So, you know, that just kind of, it's, it's kind of funny to me even when you say it like that, because, you know, if someone coughs around you or sneeze, you're still going to get it, you know, and right. just because you have that vaccine doesn't mean you're completely shielded from it. And so the shield is building up that innate right. immunity through taking those substances, yeah. through eating a clean diet and drinking good water every day and keeping stress off the body mm -hmm. and then we'll be okay no matter yeah. what. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. That's wonderful. Thank mm -hmm. you so much for sharing. Yes, ma'am. And thank you for joining us today. Thanks.